Welcome to Oji's Origami. Today we're going to do one of my all-time favorite patterns and it's uh, for a beagle. We're going to do a beagle dog. Um, it's for the advanced folder. It is quite complicated and uh, in fact <clears throat> the lesson is is quite lengthy so I'll divide it into two parts and uh, this will be this will be part A of the origami beagle. We're going to start by using, um, I'm using a brown piece of origami paper, white on one side, brown on the other. It is 15 uh, centimeters square. To uh, do the beagle, we're actually going to cut this paper in half. So um, we're going to make a triangle uh, out, out of the square. So we're going to cut it across this way or cut it across this, doesn't matter which way. Uh, but do not cut this way. We don't want to end up with a rectangle. We're going to end up with a triangle. So cut your paper in half. And it's going to look like this. And we're going to start by folding each of these two corners up to the top point. You're going to start with the brown side facing up not the white. If you start with the white side facing up, your beagle is going to be a white dog. And uh, today I want mine to be a brown dog. So brown side up and these two points to the top. It's going to be very imperative that all of, all of your folds are as exact as you can. And uh, being advanced origami folders, I, I know you can do it. Okay. Two, two points are up to the top. Once that's done, we're going to fold it in half this way. Okay, so I'm just to repeat, your two points have now folded up to the top point, and then we folded it in half. Looks like that. And then you're going to have this point here fold up over to this side. Have your points meet exactly. Like that. Turn it over. And we're going to do the same thing again. This point is going to fold over to meet this point. Exactly. Okay, and then you're going to stand this straight up like that. I'm going to turn it over so now it looks like this. Okay, white, white side up now. You're going to do an open squash fold, right? You're going to open up the center like that. Open squash fold and this point comes down. Take your time. Okay, that's your open squash fold. You're going to turn it over and do the same thing on this side. You're going to stand this center portion up like that and open squash fold again.
like that. So far we're like this. Okay. The next is a familiar or should be a familiar move to you. Uh, it's, it's similar to making a crane where we're folding, making a kite fold now. So your, your points are open at the bottom, closed at the top. And we're going to fold in a kite fold to the center like that. Same on this side. It's going to open up just like it, just like the crane, right? And then this flap comes up to the top like that. And you fold in on your guidelines that you've just folded. You're going to turn it over and do the same thing with this one. Kite fold into the center. Open back up. Lift that top flap of paper up and fold it on your, on your uh, guidelines. You have to make nice heavy creases because you don't want the beagle falling apart, right? So now it looks like this. Okay, now with the white side facing you, with the white side facing you, you're going to very gently, very, because you don't want to tear the paper, very gently you're going to pull this out it's going to basically undo itself like such. See that? And you're going to fold it up. Okay. And then you're going to fold this edge into the center. going to open it up and we're going to fold mount uh, we're going to fold this in like this okay but and we're going to fold down only to the center point and once you get to that center point then you're going to reverse fold on this line here So I folded this in to the center point there and then from this point on you're going to reverse fold on this line here and it comes back up to the top like that. See? Same thing on this side. We're going to gently open it up. You don't want to tear your paper. If you tear your paper, you got to start over. <laughs> so open it up like such. Fold this point up. 
this edge here folds into the center. I'm going to rotate just to make it easier for myself. Okay, so again, we opened it up. I folded this point up. Now this edge is folded into the center like that. Make a good crease. And then we're going to open it up. I'm going to fold this in like that. Just to the center point though. And then this fold here, remember this fold here now becomes a reverse fold. So you might even help you just to kind of reverse fold it before you, before you actually have to get to that point. So fold in to that center point and then reverse fold on this guideline that you've previously folded like such. Mine's not cooperating. There we go. I'm going to uh, warn you ahead of time, it's really important to have all of these points as nicely done as possible because each point is going to become a nose or an ear or a paw or a tail. Um, so it's, it's good to have nice, nice points to work with. Okay, so now your beagle looks like this. Okay, the next part. is a um, difficult move. <laughs> what I'm going to have you do is hold your beagle like this. Okay, so the, the wide uh, area is at the bottom and the narrow area is at the top. And we're going to, basically what we're going to be doing is folding this in half, like that. Okay, but it's not that simple. What we're going to be doing, as we fold this part in half, like that, what we're going to be doing on the top side is pulling up on this point here, like that. And as this folds in half, like such, we're going to pull this up and see this point right here, right there. As this folds in half, and this all has to be done simultaneously, as this folds in half, and as this side is being pulled up, this point here, with one of your fingers, is pushed inwards like that. That point is going to be pushed inwards. And as it goes in, as it goes in, these two points here come down like such. And all of this becomes a reverse fold. Just be gentle. So I've got this part reverse folded. This part is almost reverse folded now, see that? And then this part continues to go in half like this.
I'm going to lay it down on the, on the table to make my creases nice and sharp. So it's going to look like this now. Okay. So these two halves have come together like that. This has been totally reverse folded and this point here that was sticking out this way is now pushed all the way in and all of these creases are reverse folded like such. Okay. I'm thinking I'm going to leave you at this point for you to work on that. Uh, it might take several pieces of paper and several attempts to get to this point. So go ahead and take your time doing that. I'm going to close this session off at this point here and then we'll, we'll pick up right from here uh, once you've got this part mastered. It's really important to get this part mastered because this is going to be um, several important areas of your beagle at once your head, your body, your tail, your feet. Um, so all of these points, it's really important to have them as best as you can right now. All right, so I'm gonna, I'm gonna sign off right here um, and we'll pick up again uh, uh, next week, right from this point. Thank you for watching Oji's Origami. Don't forget to subscribe to my channel, please, and click on like. I'll see you next time and we'll finish the beagle. Bye for now.